<laughs> All right. For real this time. This is our third intro. Don't uh -oh. blame that on you. Apparently Julia thinks she's Batman. Go ahead and say I'm Batman. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the next little telltale thing we're doing. Let's get it. Gotta cook and clean and wash every thing. There you go. Uh oh. Now we can go. We can go. That bitch faded to black. He's tough. So Shadows Edition is there's no color, everything is black, white, and red. Classic edition. Love the original. Thank you. <laughs> To y'all, as y'all pouring to us. Yes. The more yeah, likes, the more likes, followers, the more subscribers, the more shares. We're gonna keep it rolling. Yes. The games are just to show you make We got a lot of games about how you on play. the schedule. Like, about how you play. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a hella chopper. Like ghost. Yeah, Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? We bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Yes, Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Oh, Every drop of blood, everything you've oh, sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. They need something to fear. This city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Huh? 
shit! The hell he got? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Y'all know it's Batman. <laughs> Y'all up there acting like y'all don't know what this was going on. What is it? What you think it is? A ghost? Stand up. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Mother teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I ain't gonna say nothing. Huh. So brooding. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Fuck you up. Bring it, Bat. <laughs> Ha 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 
I go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. What the fuck? God damn it! What are you doing? No, wait! <laughs> I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. You can't be crazy. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well, then. Message! Time to save the city. Ew, what the fuck type of polygons was that? I was doing robots for a second. Hell yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Harvey Dent. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably Imagine late, as always. Shit. Say hi, Bruce. Hey. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I yeah. tie him up and he knocks him down. Yeah. 
That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. I was just working the night shift. Yeah, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Interesting. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Put a dent in crime. Which, for the record, I have not been since yeah. law school. Yeah, it was the last right, name. All right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. I know I First, made it I up what I said. Batman. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Don't let your kids play in the streets. Cars start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. That's a nice-ass mansion. Well, imagine you got a mansion that damn big on the outskirts of the city. Boy, the parties I would throw. Man, you know Bob? Mr. Wayne, oh, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. Mm. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main oh, Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you ah, to lead this city to long. greatness. You haven't seen well, that before, so. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, I mean, not just Mr. Good. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old yeah. families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Oh. No, You're shouldn't. preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. You need Forgive to give me some hate. Blunt, but one man what can't is that save the city. State? And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. <laughs> That's how you get. Creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. You Put him in a room with teeth <laughs> for 15 minutes. Take and them teeth out, what? Over. He's gonna need more than that, son. It hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. <coughs> Don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. So with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously so unsecure so Arkham so Asylum so with a state of the art mental health facility to help Gotham's <laughs> most at risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. 
Well, thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Wow. This is a private <laughs> fundraiser, Miss Vale. No, not, not interested. Well. well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. We'll talk tomorrow then. Mr. Wayne, you just have you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like. Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I trust Harvey. Maybe he can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Carmen Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. a respectable man. Uh, uh, Woo! He don't like that. I don't care. My boy don't like Gentlemen, that. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. And what about it? Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At Two thousand years later. Yeah, mine is well, that's why. Oh. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Uh, Have a I drink, Harvey a talk. Me. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Yeah, bitch. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Damn. I guess Harvey the bitch. <laughs> he getting tossed around. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Um, Harvey will make the man better. talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. 
Hey, we all Sister carry the so. city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or for. I can pull it out from under him. What did you decide to do? Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. Yeah, I think is. Between I'm your businesses surprised. and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Teddy. And which to break. You should know. Don't you dare mm. talk about my mm. father. You're getting Not worked right. up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say That's no bad. to me. <laughs> Not for long. I knew him longer than you did. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Thank you, Alfred. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I really don't Dick care. Here. That was a long intro, boy. God dog. What was that? We gonna stop the video right there just cause the intro was so long. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's already spicy. Cause it was so long. Yeah, it was already spicy though. Real interesting. Give this video. Like, subscribe. 50 likes. Don't forget to subscribe and share the channel. And we'll come back with more Batman. Catch y'all later.